hello students okay now as i have already sent you a ppt of design of clutches uh, design of single plate clutches i'm also sending you the video or the audio ppt of this topic so let's start the design of clutches design of single plate clutches okay now let us consider that this is your disc or your clutch plate these two are the sides which you can see are the pressure plate now just look at this diagram <clears throat> let r1 be the outside diameter of the pressure plate r2 be the inside diameter of the pressure plate r be the mean diameter that is r1 plus r2 by 2 and we are considering an elemental area within this friction surface with a thickness of dr at the mean radius r so now let us say t is the torque to be transmitted by the clutch p is the intensity of axial pressure with which the contact surfaces are held together R1 and R2, as I uh, earlier said, that are the external and internal radii of the friction faces. R is the mean uh, radius of the friction phase. Mu is the coefficient of friction. Now, we know that the friction surface of that elemental ring which we have considered, this ring, this elemental ring. So, the area is, the circumference is 2 pi R, this into dr this will give me the sectional area of this elemental ring so sectional surface area is 2 pi r dr then the normal or the axial force on the ring denoted by delta w will be equal to pressure into area as we all know so considering the pressure as p we have described above and area is 2 pi r dr which is this area right the frictional force on the ring acting tangentially at radius r now we are talking about the frictional force denoted by f subscript r we know that the formula for frictional force is mu into reaction where the reaction here is delta w mu is the coefficient of friction so we'll be keeping mu as it is and substituting the formula for delta w from above which is p into 2 pi r dr so finally we get the frictional torque acting on the ring as we all know that the formula for torque is force into perpendicular distance here the force is the frictional force that is fr and perpendicular distance will be the mean radius small r so finally we get a formula 2 pi mu p r square dr 2 pi mu p r square dr where mu is a coefficient of friction p is your intensity of axial pressure r is the mean radius dr is the thickness of that elemental area now we shall be considering two cases first case will be when there is a uniform pressure but non-uniform axial wear that will be the first case second case will be when there is a uniform axial wear and non-uniform pressure throughout the friction area so first finding out the formula for uh, relation for pressure as we all know pressure is equal to force upon area here force is the axial force denoted by w area is the area of frictional surface we'll move back to this area now this complete area of the friction plates where the friction will be acting given by pi r1 square minus r2 square where w is the axial thrust now we have already calculated or we have already find out that dr that is the torque is equal to 2 pi mu p r square dr as we discussed in this slide 
there is the formula for frictional torque acting on the ring so now what we will be doing we will be integrating this within the limits from r2 to r1 so integrating this whole relation from r2 to r1 and then substituting the value of p as we have calculated here will give us formula 2 pi mu w upon pi r1 square minus r2 square that is the area and r1 cube minus r2 cube upon p so taking this r1 square minus r2 square within the bracket below r1 cube minus r2 cube we get 2 by 3 mu w bracket r1 cube minus r2 cube upon r1 square minus r2 square now this r1 cube minus r2 cube upon r1 square minus r2 square is now termed as capital r which is the mean radius of rational surface so finally we get t is equal to mu w r where r is 2 by 3 r1 cube minus r2 cube upon r1 square minus r2 square this is the formula for torque to be transmitted considering the uniform pressure considering the uniform pressure means considering that there is a uniform pressure within the friction surface but there is a non-uniform wear so that was the that was our first consideration and using that consideration we get t is equal to mu w capital r thank you